Good morning, Year 5 6. Welcome back to part two of the Happiness Project. I really hope that you enjoyed last week's lesson. And um, this week, we're going to take it a step further because remember last week I said to you this was all about using art to help manage our emotions. Um, so it's all about the process. And so we're going to have a look at that process um, with regards to us and how we are this week. So for today's lesson, you're going to need, take, same as last week, a large piece of paper, a piece of paper that you can make some notes on and perhaps put some colours on um, and patterns and things, a pencil to write with, and then of course that colour. Remember this is all about the process, so we need lots and lots of colour. So anything you have at home really, paints, pastels, chalks, crayons, pens, anything else like that. Um, I have a range of things here, so I'm going to demonstrate with you as much as I can, um, just to show you how you can do it. And a little bit of a recap of some of those skills that we have learnt. So the first part, I want you to have a little bit of, think, of a think about you. Okay, so I want you to think about yourself. What is in your heart, in your mind? How do you see yourself? Okay, what makes you, you? What um, emotions do you have? How do you feel about certain things? What are your favorite things maybe? What's actually your favorite thing about you? And I don't think we take enough time to think about that. So I want us to repeat the exercise that we did last week. I just want you to close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to focus on just your breath. And I want you to see if you can come up with five things that make you, you. And they could be anything. It could be the things that you enjoy doing, the things that you feel that you're good at. Okay, so just have a think for a moment. I want you to pause the video in just a moment, take those deep breaths, and then see if you can write down three things that make you, you. Okay, pause it now. Welcome back. I hope that you got on well with that and that you perhaps have got five things, I'm really hoping. If you haven't quite managed to get five things, don't worry, you might think of more things later, so you can always add to it. Now, before um, we move on to the next slide, have a look at those things and see if you can link a colour. Like we did last week, we linked certain colours to certain things. So, of course, as you know, one of my favourite things, in fact, probably my favourite thing to do is artwork. And for that, I mean, to be honest, that for me is a whole rainbow of colours. Um, so I would actually think about doing a pattern. So it could be uh, swirls, stripes, spots, whatever comes to mind that really links to that thing that makes you, you. Another part of me would be my children. Um, and that just brings to mind, I almost can imagine like a firework pattern and swirls because it's a bit chaotic, but it's so bright and colorful and fun. So that's how I want to show it on my artwork. Okay, so once um, you've had a little bit of a think, pause this video and see if you can put some colors next to your five things. Okay, right, are we ready for the next bit? Now, this bit is thinking about what supports you. Okay, so we've had to think about what makes you, you. So this time I want you to think about what supports you in your life. What good things have you got in your life? What people have you got that are there? So um, like I said before, family is a big, big part of my support. So my number one thing would be my husband and my children. And, um, and then I would think about all the other things that provide me with support. So teaching you guys makes me really happy. So that would definitely be on my list, okay? My own artwork, that would be on my list as well. So I want you to repeat the exercise that we did just a minute ago. I want you to pause the video and I want you to do those breaths and then think about what things are there to support you in your life. What perhaps makes you happy, okay? So pause the video and off you go. Okay, hi. Did you manage to think of five things? Hopefully you did because um, even if perhaps you can't think of lots and lots of things at home, 
I hope that maybe in school you've got some people that you know are definitely there to support you. Um, I'm always there, especially with your art processes. <laughs> so I really hope that you've managed to get your five things. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. And I want you to think about those five things. And I would like you to put some colors or patterns next to them. So <laughs> mine would be fairly similar for my family and my children. Um, my children particularly would probably be very, very bright, vibrant, colorful patterns, swirls, a bit chaotic, but lots of fun. My husband would, he, he holds things together. So he might be quite supportive and I'd probably use like quite rigid lines for that just to, to show that support, that frame. My school, you guys, and, and teaching you guys. Well, that brings me so much joy. And I would kind of see that as a bit of a, explosion of color as well are you getting the feeling i look quite like color <laughs> so in a moment pause the video and i want you to put some colors and patterns next to your things that you've thought of okay right we have got a really good basis for um, the next part what we're going to do is we're going to use everything you've thought of to create you. Now I'm just going to move this little box out of the way so that hopefully you can see this picture a little bit better. Okay, um, I want you to think about all of those things that you've just listed, all of those cut colours and patterns that you've just thought about and I want you to create you. Okay, now what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to sh stop sharing this screen and I'm going to do this with you, okay? So I'm gonna start you off. I'm hopefully gonna inspire you guys to start. Um, and, and hopefully we're gonna get a really lovely representation of you. Now remember, this shouldn't be a picture. We're thinking about abstract art like we were last week. Um, so it doesn't need to be a pretty picture of you, how you look now. That's not what it's about. It's more about everything that makes you, you. So that is all the things um, to do with your personality, maybe you're funny, maybe you're um, thoughtful and caring. Um, so all of those things, so all that's the first five things we thought of. And then it's to do with the, and then you put that together with the next five things, all that support that's in place for you. Okay, so I'm going to switch the screens in just a moment and you can join in. Okay, are we ready? So what I've done, first of all, just for you to see, is I have drawn an outline of a head shape. So this is going to be me, all right? Now to do that, it's just like drawing an upside down egg, okay? So if you could do that first, this is on your large piece of paper, so it's got lots to fill in here, okay? Now, I've brought a few things with me. I have got some colouring pencils. Okay, so if you've only got those at home, that's absolutely fine. You can use those. I have got some oil pastels and chalk pastels. Now, I've also got over here, these are watercolour pens. So you could use that or if you've got your own watercolour palette. And then just as a bit of a reminder, I'm going to pop this up here just to remind you about those color harmonies and those complementary colors. Now, I think for this demonstration, I'm going to use um, pastels because they blend really nicely, really easily. Okay, right. Now, thinking about my things, I did say my life is quite chaotic <laughs> and quite a lot of fun and full of color. So that's what I'm going to start with. I am going to start by putting in those swells. Now you could draw these first if you liked. So if you wanted to draw a bit of a pattern and then use the colors to fill them in, that's absolutely fine. But I think I'm just gonna get the color straight on there. And I want to start with this kind of ribbon of bright red coming through. Okay. There we go. Now, if you're using chalk pastels like me, remember they do blend quite nicely and quite easily, but do make sure that you're, you're brushing them off a bit. Now, I'm going to get another little bit of a stream coming through here. There we go. Now, red's actually one of my favourite colours, hence why it's probably why I'm starting with it. Um, and I should look, I'm wearing it today as well. 
didn't even realize. <laughs> okay, so um, now before I blend that, I'm just going to dust off some of the excess chalky bits. Here we go. And I'm just blending that now. There, lovely. Now remember, you do get muck, mucky hands with this, okay? But you might be using paint, which is absolutely fine. Now I'm going to add in a contrasting color. So I've used the red. So the contrasting color will be the blue, okay? So these should really pop when they are together. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna actually overlap some of these because that's a little bit like, how I see. So this, this perhaps represents that, that kind of strength from, from Mr. Regalsford who helped me hold it all together. So that strong rigid line that I said. There we go. And let's get this, I'm going to get a strong rigid line on the other side as well. Okay. So again, I'm going to use a different finger to blend it though, because obviously I've got the red on the other finger, red and blue together, make purple, remember? And I want to keep that a blue. So I'm gonna dust it off. Again, there we go. Give my hands a little bit of a brush as well. Okay, I think I need some yellow, okay? So, because a lot of the things in my life bring me a lot of joy and happiness, like you guys, and teaching you and showing you lots of different art that you could be doing and hopefully helping you get through this very strange times. Okay, so I want to bring a little bit of joy. Now, those of you that I have taught, I have spoken to you before about colors and the meaning of colors and how they can help you. Yellow is definitely a joyful color. So if you ever need picking up, yellows and oranges are a wonderful color to use. And so can you see, I'm kind of, I'm filling in all the gaps with this, this joy that's kind of underneath it all. All right. And then I'm just gonna blend that in a bit. Okay. There we go. Now I'm not worrying too much if certain colours are overlapping or anything like that because actually that's a bit like my life. Lots of things do overlap. There we go. So now I've got that lovely strong yellow. Now, like I said, there's lots of colourful, wonderful things in my life. So I'm going to start adding some of those in. And I want to show that it's quite exciting but also a little bit chaotic so I'm just going to add in a little bit of a, a spray here of this orange can you see the orange is really standing out against the blue because again that's the opposite side of um, the color wheel oh I definitely need some green in so actually I'm just going to do a little bit of kind of a dot action going on this side just as a different dimension to it. So it's almost like, it's looking like some kind of funky mask at the moment. There we go. So this here is representing you guys actually. And all of you and how much you're such a big part of, of me teaching you all. There we go. I feel like I definitely need more joy in here. So let's have a look. Oh, I'm gonna go for some purple. I do love purple. It's a very calming color. So, but I want a little bit of fun coming through this now. So it's kind of these ribbons of swells coming through. Now I'm not gonna blend these because, because this is the chalk pastels that I'm using it will just end up in a brown mess. So I'm just gonna dust them off. Okay, now that was just a little bit of a demonstration. There's obviously lots more that you could be doing. You might be using watercolors, which will look um, 
quite different. They'll have a totally different effect. And I would recommend you doing a um, color wash to begin with. So what I'd like you guys to do now, um, you can pause the video either at my artwork or just, just switch it off. And I want you to really focus on creating yours. Remember to use those words that we thought of, all those wonderful colors and patterns, um, and then create. And I would really love to see your artwork. So please make sure that you post it um, once you've finished. Okay, I look forward to seeing it and hopefully seeing you guys at some point too. All right, take care, bye.